up you guys? Today I am so excited to give you a room tour of my bedroom at my parents' house. For those of you who don't know, I currently live in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a full-time student at Belmont University, but during this quarantine I have come to stay with my parents just to have my family around me and it's a good excuse to spend this time with them. So my parents live in Kingsport, Tennessee, which is about four and a half hours northeast of Nashville, and they recently moved into this house. So I started YouTube videos in 2008 when they were living in a house. Then in 2010, they moved to another house, and then about a year ago, they moved to this house. So I've had a lot of room tours at my parents' house in the past. If you wanna see any of those or how my style has kind of changed, I can go through and link all my other like room tour videos down below. But when my parents moved into this house, my mom asked me if I wanted to decorate my bedroom, what I wanted to do. And I honestly was like, I don't really care what it looks like when I come to visit you guys. I'm there to hang out with the family. I'm never gonna be there, you know, for a super long extended period of time and then quarantine happened. So I have done some things that make this room just feel a little bit more like mine, but pretty much everything you see in here are items that my family has had in one room or another throughout their moves in their houses. And I kind of took what furniture I was given and I have made it work for this room and tried to put my own little spin on it. In the grand scheme of things, this is not what my dream ideal bedroom looks like, but just being able to have my own space in my parents' house during this time has just been absolutely amazing. So I guess we should start out over here. This dresser has been in my family for a super long time and I have just kind of tried to decorate the top of it to just make it feel like mine and feel like home. So I have a couple little decor items. I have a fake plant because I don't live here all the time so I can't keep it alive obviously and even if I did live here and I tried to get a real plant, it would die pretty soon. I've got a candle, just a few little knickknacks. This is from the first time I ever went to Paris. My mom let me pick out a little souvenir item and this is what I picked. I have no idea what souvenir this airplane is from. And this is a puzzle that my dad and I got in Bali when we were on The Amazing Race and I'm not going to undo it because it takes me forever to figure out how to put it back. So this painting is from my great aunt Betsy. My dad's aunt painted this and gave it to my parents in 1990. So before I was even born, I was born in 93. And this has always had a place in all of my family homes. I've always known like, where's the elephant picture going in this house? And it was funny because my mom decided that she liked the way it looked with this dresser and wanted to put it in here for me. And I kind of took some of the inspiration from the colors of this to decorate the rest of my room. So I think it's fun to just have a piece of family and I think it's beautiful. I have a few other little knickknacks. I have my HomePod. We are not going to go into the closets during this tour because that is where everything that is typically maybe strewn about the floor that you don't see right now is hiding. So over here we've had this chair for a really long time. I don't even know where it's from. Um, and my mom bought this pillow so I can ask her if she knows where that is from. But this blanket I got at Target as well as that little side table. On this footstool, I have a little catch-all tray from Henry Bindel. I have my keys and then I'm actually reading The Sacred and the Profane, The Nature of Religion for one of my summer classes right now. And I was talking to my dad about it because I like to talk to him about any of the things I'm reading. and. He went to his bookshelf and got his copy of this from when he was in college and inside there is a piece of paper that is from October 1979. This is from his professor for students in comparative cultures and I just think that is like the coolest thing in the entire world. This in and of itself is sacred to me and the fact that he's letting me read out of his book that he highlighted through when he was in college. I just think it's really awesome. So I am enjoying that right now. I have a fake fiddle leaf fig tree that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got this probably about a year ago with the pot from Target. And then this is just some moss that I covered up the fake 
pot on the bottom with. What are you doing? What is my little... It's a tree, yeah. <laughs> you want to help me do my room tour? Eye? Where's your eyes? Eye! Nose? Chin? Chin? Cheek? No. over to the bed. I believe all of this bedding except for this pillow right here is from Target. This one is from Anthropology, and this is just on one of those like little metal bed frames. So I didn't have a headboard and originally I was just using these pillows as a headboard, but it still needed another pop. So we painted this on the wall. It's not super perfect, but I kind of like how it adds to the like we did this vibe. Maybe that's just like what I tell myself because it's a little messy. Over here, these bedside tables have been in the family since I think before I was born. This picture frame came with this as the stock photo in it and I thought I was going to change it but once I got it in the room I realized that I really like the colors of it so I'm going to keep it for now and it's on my like eventual to-do list that I'll put my own picture in there, but it's not that high on that to-do list. I have some books and just like my laptop and everything in the drawers and the shelves below. And then I have the same nightstand on the other side. And this is actually the pillow that I originally had on the center of this bed. I was originally attracted to this just because of the colors. Like look at how it ties the orange and the blue that I've picked together. I think it's awesome. But because I have the elephants and I have a couple little other animal themey type stuff, I didn't want this to be a themed bedroom. So I decided to switch it out with this pillow, which was actually on my guest bed in my house in Los Angeles. And I've got my backpack right here. I am planning on doing a what's in my backpack video, but I don't know if that's something that you guys would be interested in since no one's really like going to school right now. Do we need to see what's in my backpack? I still like watching those videos. I think it's fun. You guys need to tell me if that's something you wanna see. So then this was kind of the last thing that I did in my room just because this area just felt really boring and I felt like the room didn't have that much personality. So these are all items that I either got online at Target or my mom already had them and wasn't using them in like another room of the house. That's how I got most of them. So I just did a little gallery wall. I would like to add in, fill in some spaces, but for now I like how it just gives the room some personality. I like to play on the unexpected. I feel like a lot of people, if they were going to do a gallery wall, they would do it over the dresser or in a very prominent spot in the room. But because this is just kind of its own little empty alcove corner, I wanted to highlight it and give it something that made it fun. So, like I said, all of these little things are just from around the house or Target online. I don't think I've talked about the rugs yet, but both of these rugs are from Target and I am obsessed with layering rugs, especially in a room where a normal traditional size rug is not going to work. So you can see how I have this little cutout right here. I wanted this rug to tuck up under the foot of the bed and kind of cover this area right here. But if I wanted it to come out any further than this, I would have needed to scoot it all the way over where there would literally be none of the rug right here. So instead, I just got a smaller rug, angled it, layered it over here and I think it looks really cute and gives just some fun personality to the room. So I guess the last really section of my room would be my desk. So this was not here until I came 
to my parents' house during quarantine. I was still in my spring semester. I knew I was gonna do a summer semester, so I needed a desk for myself. This is an old Ikea desk that we have had for a very long time. It is super beat up, super used and loved, but that is fine because I'm just using it for my schoolwork. I'm studying interior design and architecture, so that's why I have all of these materials up here. I've got my sketchbook. I'm starting to play with watercolor paints and kind of see how I feel about those, and it's been really fun. My triangles, circle template, this is pins and pencils. This is kind of like my random tools. I have my dust brush and erasers. Um, architectural scale, some trash paper, tape. I just have a scrunchie around the trash paper to hold it together because just like it doesn't crease your hair, it does not crease your trash paper. So if anyone needs that tip. My markers, I have Copic and Prisma. I was kind of trying them both out. I definitely prefer the Copic, but they are so expensive. If anyone knows of a good dupe for the Copic markers, please let me know because I've Googled and apparently there are some dupes for it but I don't know which one I should try, and I trust you guys. And then I just have my T-square and this random chair that was downstairs in the basement that I took and put as my desk chair. I put this mirror here before I decided to move the desk in here, so that is why that's situated there. But when I leave and go back to Nashville, and this is no longer where I'm doing like all of my schoolwork, obviously, all the stuff will come with me and then we will take this desk back downstairs to the basement and this will just kind of be a little entry area. But I do like the idea of having like a small console table here. So I think that's what I will replace it with in the future. Now, the very last thing is the bathroom. My brother-in-law, Alex, was helping me film this, but he just stepped out, so I'm taking over to do the bathroom. I feel like this bathroom has so much potential and it could be so cute with just some paint on the cabinet, switch out the hardware, maybe a new sink fixture and a new light fixture, sink fixture, faucet, what is that even? What, I don't know. And a new light fixture, I think that would make the world of difference in here, but this is what I am working with. So over here, I just have perfume, soap, my makeup brushes, which I don't typically keep out on the counter, but I thought it looked cute for the video. And then some tissues and a candle. This cabinet, the bottom one, is a laundry chute that goes down to the laundry room, but I just have a little laundry hamper in there. And the top one is where I have my makeup bag and a little mirror I can pull out if I need to get close and really see what I'm doing with my makeup. My beauty sponge. Look how cute this little holder. I got this on Amazon. It comes in a pack of two, and I think it is just the cutest thing ever. And then typically I will put my makeup brushes back up here when I'm done doing my makeup in the morning. These little starburst thingamajigs are from Target and I thought they just added a little something something. The shower curtain, I love the colors of, but it is another animal. It is a peacock and for someone who said that they did not want to do a themed animal room, uh, I really somehow managed to do just that. All right, you guys, that is a tour of my bedroom at my parents' new house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below. That is my favorite part about uploading. I love to be able to chat with you guys and it makes uploading it so much fun for me. So come say hi in the comments and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.